Alright, uh, we back. We back. We got another video for y'all, you know, another mini podcast series. Gonna be talking about the three rogues you should probably be buying, you know? You guys are clueless coming in, but we got you. Facts, facts, facts. Y'all don't really know nothing, but we're about to put y'all on game with the top three rogues. We both gonna give give each other's opinions on rogues that we think you should get. Um, this is your host, the most Ty Belly, aka Belly Two Socks, aka Mr. AKA you don't act right, we let the AK spray stop the vomit. <laughs> <laughs> and to my co-host, you may know him as Mr. Hide Your Wallets, but I know him as Thief. Yo, Thief, introduce yourself to the people. Dude. You know, it's Thief, aka Sugar Daddy to some people, aka, you know, <laughs> aka Smooth Criminal, aka Robin Hood, whatever you want to call me, I'm here. There it is, there it is, my God, my God. Before we get started, if you like the video, be sure to like the video. It costs you nothing to show love. If y'all want to see us keep doing it, leave it in the comments. What y'all want to see us do for the Rogue or anything else, honestly, whatever it is. But to get started into this list, I don't want to make this too long. The first Rogue I'm going with that I believe you should buy is Mac. The big Mac truck himself, the big body bands in the flesh. Easy character to play. His ability is super simple to understand. His passive... It's called Standard Issue. You start the game with 25 extra armor. For the people who lose gunfights pretty easy, he's a very good roll to start the game out with. Every time you down somebody, you get an extra 15 uh, armor to your max health. So you'll go from 100 to 115. If you down someone else without getting hit, you're back at 125. His ability to light bomb. I say this is one of his L's. It's hard to put it down sometimes, but like you'll be trying to put the light bomb down and it don't work. But when it do work, I'm telling you now, like it can hold people off of sight. People will not push it. Most people are scared of it unless they're playing Anvil, then they're going to run right through it. His only counters is Glitch. Glitch and Anvil is only real two counters in the game or people with the MPs because they, uh, they can break his light bomb. But overall, like I said, really simple road to play. It doesn't take a lot of skill to use. His gun loadout is the Conviction and the, uh, the Objection, which is SMGs and LMGs for Weapon Master. You can use any... LMG, the mall, I would prefer the mall. SMGs, the objection is actually smacking right now. And going to his perks, he has restock, so people who like to shoot a lot, you never have to reload with this character. Don't reload your gun, just down somebody, your bullets will be back. He also has gold crack shot, which funny enough, I had no idea. <laughs> he's, already, he's even stronger than I thought he was. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know he had I don't know why he has it still. He, Mac is an incredible rogue. He has no, no real negatives to his entire loadout whatsoever. Other than his Big ability. Body yeah, other than his ability, that's his only actual, like, negative. Because yeah. sometimes it's hard to put it down. But other than that, you got grenades, you got APS systems. He is hard to mess up playing Mac. I think he's newcomer friendly. You know what I mean? Or Fast. even if you're an advanced player, if you don't have him, I would buy him. I would highly recommend him. Steve, Steve, what's the next one? All right. So, for my first one, I'm saying Umbra. Umbra is an incredible rogue, in my opinion. His perk set, in my opinion, is the best perk set you can have. You have Gold Crack Shot. He has his DMRs and he has the LMP as a starter weapon, which is great to get used to the low recoil guns. He has the Bishop, a great DMR. He has a great setup as well with the bounce grenades and tear gas grenades. Funnily enough, people don't to this day realize how good the tear gas is. Bounce grenades, a little bit of skill, back, back. but when you get used to it, one of the best grenades in the game. You got life drain, replenish, you don't have to reload, you get your health back. And his passive as well mixed up with the life drain, you get 125 health when you get, what is it, one or two downs. No, two downs and then two finishes and then there you go. That's that's all 125 health automatic. And whenever you regen health, that's your automatic regen until you fully die. You get, you get revived, you're still on 125. You got padded steps, which is a cheesy perk. You know, use it. You can play how people hate to play against. You know, people hate playing against. Yo, can I comment steps. about padded steps? Yo? I didn't know go it was ahead. that strong. I never buy it. it. I didn't know it was that powerful, yo. That thing be smacking, Loki. Yeah. Like, really then, creeping up behind people. Like a thief in that's the what I'm saying. And you have it on number with crack shot. Got it with life drain replenish. Like, it's crazy. With blaster paired up with his ability. His ability is also his downfall, just like, man. Like, you're exposed. Yo, you can die you. while having your ability. And there's a lot of people that don't even die to the spider. You, there's a lot of counters to the spider. But at the end of the day, it's, it's an ability you can use without, like, having troubles if you can stay in a corner with where they don't find you, you're good there. Just insane perks in my opinion. I think Umbra is my first choice for that. Alright, alright. 
I ain't gonna lie. Umber was actually next on my list, so I'm gonna go ahead and get I'm gonna get y'all I'm gonna get y'all a different one. You know, he already said Umber. <laughs> one that I don't think people will ever think of a lot, like when it comes to like what rogue should you get, yo, Switchblade. Switchblade okay. is the next rogue on my list. Unfortunately, she starts out with the M4. If you don't didn't master any other guns, you have to use that weapon. I'm sorry for the people that do like it. It's a trash weapon. It is what it is. I don't know what nobody say, you know what I mean? Shouts out to Queen and Power, but nah, I'm good off that. Her ability, I say her passive isn't the, the best, but it's another passive that you don't have to think about. And I think that's the, the, the route I'm going with my top three that you should get. Passives you don't have to think about. They kind of just are what they are. They activate on their own. Every time you use her ability, every time you throw a, a nade out, she has flashbangs and bounce nades. Two really great, uh, great utility. Her ultimate is just a rocket launcher. It's hard to mess up shooting a rocket. Respect. Yes. And it will happen. You will down yourself a few times, but once you learn how to use it, you'll be fine. But every one of those things you use, her passive gives you a speed boost for about, what is it, like six, seven seconds, something like that? Yeah. She's a very fast paced, in your face rogue. She has ARs and SMGs, which is a great, if you have ARs and SMGs, you're already one of the best characters in the game, in my, in my eyes. That's how I look at it. And once again, this is another rogue with restock. She also has blasters, so that rocket is putting people down in the heartbeat. She has blaster and volatile. You aim that yes. rocket and shoot it, someone's going down at this point blank period. <laughs> GG, it is what it is. What most people don't know is that she has bulletproof, purple bulletproof at that, 10% less uh, damage from firearm. So ever since speed and toughness got taken out the game, removed, that perk is one of the best perks in my opinion. She yes. has it. She can fight up close, like up front in the front line and actually survive a lot longer than most other rogues because of it. And she also had blue life drain, which is kind of, eh, whatever, but it's still an extra 25 health every time you down somebody. She has a great perk loadout. One of the best. Uh, she's a rogue that you don't see a lot of people go for, but she's definitely, like, slept on in my eyes. I believe she's really slept on in this mm -hmm. game. All the characters I'm recommending to you, well, Mac, I didn't say this. He can be used in every game mode, strikeout, demolition, king of the hill, uh, quick play, all the quick play game modes. Whatever you're into, Mac can be used for. Same thing with Switchblade. Believe it or not, even in demo, all you got to do is shoot that rocket. Nine times out of ten, you're getting a down. You're doing something to help your team no matter what. For me, it's, it's personal preference in a way, but also at the same time, I'd say a very useful rogue is Glimpse. Because she has, again, life drain restock, that combo. Regardless of what rogue you're playing with, it's a great, great combo to have. It has padded steps. She has evade, you know, she can run faster when getting shot at, get away from gunfights when you need to, shred rounds for the armored targets, you know, and then top it all off, for you guys that barely have, you know, headphones, can't hear, her <laughs> passive Lord. is perfect for you, oh, there you go, warden. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, their oh, passive god. is perfect, it's a, it's a very good passive, you'll know where they are without hearing their footsteps. You know, if they're hiding behind a wall, you'll know exactly where they are. And then her ability is seriously useful unless you get revealed. Again, it's it's a it's an ability that's kind of situational, but in my opinion, it's a great great ability, great passive. Perk set is amazing. Again, you got yourself the um, as Veli said, you got the ARs and SMGs, and you're starting off with a nightshade and the knight on her, which is arguably of the best AR slash SMGs you can get in the game uh, and then you got the Semtexes you know it's the easiest gadget in my opinion easiest gadget along with the C4 to use nowadays it's even easier than the C4 and then the pop smoke grenade again just like evade you can get out, out of gunfights with that the there you go rest in peace and a good starter weapon starter kit there you go definitely, that's definitely. clips I say her only negative is that her camouflage. I think people make them like immune to damage, or you can't be seen when you're sprinting full speed. We can see you. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not sprint full speed when you go in viz, and don't stand right next to me when you come out of it. You can't shoot me. That's her only yeah. negative. Other than that, she is. She's an incredible character. And the only other yeah. thing is what she, she's a test tube baby, if I'm not mistaken. She's genetically mm. engineered or something. She's kind of weird, but you know, y'all into the y'all into. <laughs> she got a fox costume. Love it. I don't know. Anywho, so the next role for me, 100%, 100% is Dahlia. We need more people playing support in this game. She's a very easy rogue to play. She's not difficult. All you got to do is link to somebody. That's her ability. Her ability is called Buddy System. 
you link to somebody, you gain their you gain their passive ability. So you can link the Lancer, you can now roll and reload. You can link the Vi. Every time you shoot somebody, your health goes up. Vi is another great character, allegedly. <laughs> Dahlia is an incredible role. Her ability is super simple to understand. When that person goes down that you're linked to, you activate your ability, they're, they're back on their feet. Less than three seconds if you buy your perk. I would say the only the only downside to I don't think she has no actual downside. She's a great character all around. Honestly, she has Absolutely. gold lifeline, she has gold downside. bounce back, and purple tenacity, and quick hand, and evade. It's hard to mess up with this character, honestly. There is one downside, and that's I if your the teammates people don't choose the the right characters. If you got ah, like Chalk, yeah. Ken, and like someone else, like who like Trench. No, Trench is actually good. No, nah, Trench is good. Okay, let's say Cannon, Chalk, and like Glitch. I don't think that's really yeah. useful. Yeah, that, that's, that's her only cool. downfall. She relies okay. on your teammates having the right rogues. The only other thing I would say is if you don't have your melee weapons mastered, you will have to use the combat knife. It is what it is. Go master your melee weapons. They're easy to do. Uh, she has the Granada and the Pop Smoke Grenade, Big Woo. Her SMG is what? The Objection. She got the Objection and the DM She has uh, SMGs and BMRs. BMRs right now are in a very strong state. So if you got your BMRs mastered, you can run the Mambo on her. You got your SMGs master. You can run the you can run the objection is good right now. Objection is fine. The D40 is fine. Everything's good. That's my last role for sure. Not, I don't even need to say, say much about her. She's good in every single game mode. If you ever watch a pro Facts. tournament, she's in every single match for a reason. Facts. It speaks volumes about her character. She's easy to use and she's a threat. You cannot ignore this role when she's on the enemy mm -hmm. team whatsoever. She will keep a team in the game. I'm promoting this character because I want to see more people getting revived. Someone got to break Fonz's record of 169 revives. <laughs> it might be you. You could be the next one to do it. You never know. Think about it. But that's my top three rogues that you should buy, Steve, with the last one. And wrap I'm this torn up. up between two of them. Oh, between boy, Scorch and Chuck. I thought you were going to say Chuck. Drop a card coming. Yo, the dropping card coming. <laughs> Chuck. Chuck is good. Uh, I like Chuck. I like Chuck. Yeah, I'm going with Chuck. You got... You know, your starter weapons, you got the SKL, which is right now the best shotgun. Mm. You got the D40, one of the best SMGs currently, in my opinion. Semtex is, again, the easiest lethal gadget to use. Flashbangs, which is absolutely mental right now. I, I believe they should get a nerf in a way, but anyway. I uh, got the Katana as a starter melee, so there you go. That's also one of the best melees you can have. And then the perk set, again, life train replenish can't you know can't stress enough how good they are and then you got tenacity energized uh you know with his ability going in with 175 health pushing someone nine times out of ten you're gonna win the gunfight and if you lose that one gunfight it's probably your fault unless it's like two or three shooting at you at the same it's time. hard to mess it up <laughs> yeah pretty much you got gadgets here getting your gadgets okay. back which again great gadgets uh his passive, in my opinion, is the only letdown, but at the same time, it's good when, you, when you're when you down and you're behind cover, your teammates got your back, you can get yourself revived. If you don't have like a Saint or Dahlia on your team, you can revive yourself. Although I'd say most of the time, he uses his ability to push with 175 health, and it's just crazy. You're going to win most of your gunfight with tenacity, you know, melees and... Uh, and explosives won't hurt you, it hurt you 50% less, so pretty much they're useless against you. And there you go, that's my third rogue, yeah, OP is, Chalk. Yeah, yeah, I would say Chalk don't really have any any negatives, honestly. The only negative is, I can give him, and it's kind of a nitpicking negative, is that his passive, I think it sucks. He can that's roll what I'm get saying. down. I'm, yeah. it, it, it goes along with his ability, so I understand it, but it's like... Yeah. Uh, if he had anything else, he'd be too good. I say that. If he had anything yeah, else, he'd true. probably be too good. So yeah. you can't go wrong with him. You get two lives. So if you're new, like I said, new to the game, you mess up once. Guess what? You can get right back into the fight. Maybe if they don't run full send you while you're on the ground. But other than that, <laughs> you good. Roll into cover. I don't know. Do something. Thanks. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Y'all, y'all smart. Anywho, Thanks. that's it. <laughs> that's, that's our top three. We really gave you six of them, but three from each of us. Pick ones that you feel most comfortable with. You might not pick none of the ones we suggested. You might go a whole different route and take Fixer and realize you don't know how to snipe and wasted your money. That's on you. <laughs> it's fine. Listen, you can do whatever makes you happy. I ain't going to tell you how to live your life. That's it, y'all. Peace and love. Read Duel Stools. If you like the video, make sure to like the video. 
Be sure to subscribe, show some love to that man Feed. The link to his channel will be down in the description below. There it is. That's it. I hope everybody got a, gold, a cold pillow tonight. Mess that up. <laughs> Tired of talking. Bye. <laughs>